Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to run a repeated measures ANOVA um, on a data set. So here we have uh, three repeated measures, time one, time two, and time three. And this type of, um, th this way of presenting the data uh, is called a wide format because each of the repetitions is presented in a separate variable, in a separate column. Um, so we're going to go into analyze, general linear model, and then repeated measures. Um, we're going to give a name to our repeated measures uh, factor. Uh, let's call it time. Um, and we have to specify how many level it has. So here it has three levels. And we're going to add that here to our list of within subject factors. And then we're going to click on define. So in the next step, we have to say uh, where these three levels for time, uh, what variables they correspond to. So uh, here we need to match them over here, over there, and here with time one, time two, and time three. And then we're going to uh, look for um, options here. Notably uh, options we may want to use is we may use the plots menu. Uh, to create a plot where we'll have uh, time as the horizontal axis. I'm going to click Add. And here we're going to select a line chart with error bars that represent confidence intervals, 95% confidence intervals. And then going to click on Continue. Um, then I can go into EM means to get estimated marginal means with their standard error, confidence intervals and all that for the different time points. So I'm going to select time here and put it here on the right. If I want comparisons between time points, I can also check this. If I want to look at the residuals, I could save them with this menu, which I'm not going to do here. Um, and in the options, I will notably want to check here um, FX size as output. And that's it. I'm going to click on OK. And OK. So um, we have different, uh, different output here. We're going to scroll down first to the test of sphericity, Moshi's test of sphericity, which here is non-significant, which we can see here. Uh, P-value is above 0.05, meaning that we um, can uh, assume sphericity. Doesn't mean we have to, but we can assume sphericity. Now, if we assume sphericity, we will choose the line where it says sphericity assumed. Um, but if we don't want to assume sphericity, either because we don't think um, this assumption is reasonable or uh, this test is significant, then uh, we would want to choose one of the corrections here. Um, so here I'm going to assume sphericity um, and I'm going to here look at the effect of time. I want to check whether there are differences um, over time here. So checking this line over here and here I have the F test, degrees of freedom 2 over 18 and uh, the p-value is below 0 0.001. And here I have a measure of fx size with partial eta squared. So here we have a significant effect of time. And that tells us that there are significant mean differences uh, between the time points in general. Now, we don't know where they are, um, but we can uh, look at different output to help us understand what is going on here. Uh, so first off, we have uh, pairwise comparisons in the marginal means. Um, which tell us that essentially it looks like uh, we have mean differences between all of the pairs. So between one and two, one and three, and two and three, right? They're all significant. Um, we can also look here at the means. Um, and we see that it seems that we have an increase between time one, time two, and time two, time three, which we can also confirm by looking at the estimated marginal means plot with uh, confidence intervals here. See, we have an increase over time. Um, and the rest of the output presents uh, alternatives to, uh, to this procedure, especially uh, the multivariate test, which is a, um, a common alternative uh, to that. 
uh, for which we would look at this test over here, PI's trace, uh, which is also significant in this case. Uh, so that um, leads to the same conclusion um, in the present case. Um, and uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.